Hey humans, today I want to introduce you a free and a very effective way to practice your English speaking. Is not everyone has a privilege to live in an English speaking country to learn English? That's a pretty expensive way to do that, and then that's also not everyone. Not everyone can、uh, go to in the school they speak English. All the time, um, I was the the person who didn't have all both of those privileges, right? And I still managed to increase my English speaking capability to certain level, to a level where I can get a job in the English speaking country. So today I'm going to introduce you this way, so that you can practice your English speaking very, very efficiently. And free for free. Before we dive in, if you would like to receive more English speaking tips, English learning tips like this, like today's videos, don't forget to subscribe. So let's just dive right in. The reason that a lot of people practice their English speaking, or they didn't even have opportunities to practice, is because of、uh, you don't have an environment. So how to create the environment that's similar to real? Like speaking, like speaking in person is important. Some people、uh, find oh, practice by themselves is a way, but I would say it's a half way. If you can practice by yourself, you can record your videos、um, in playback. It's one way. It's definitely a very good way. I already made a video about that. How you can do that, but that's not enough because when you talk to people in person. You have certain pressure. You have pressure. You need to deliver your thoughts in real time, and that kind of pressure will make you make mistake. And also another kind of pressure is you will worry what if you make mistakes, what will happen. So this kind of negative feedback loop will make you very nervous when you speak English if you are not good enough, and if you are always in. This kind of situation, you need to practice under such pressure. Otherwise, you will never improve. If you can really, really practice well when you just talk to yourself without any pressure, then when you really talk to other people, you may find the situations are very different, right? Because when you practice to yourself, you don't have that kind of pressure. When you talk to a real person. The pressure is tremendous. So, how can you practice by yourself? Also,、uh, in the same time, having that kind of pressure is to record video and upload to YouTube, like wha- what I am doing now. In fact, I've already been doing this from 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 for for a few years, right? I always just upload、uh, YouTube videos、uh, talking about something, some topics, and upload to. YouTube channel. Not only in this channel, I have some other channels, right? Depending on the topics. So I think this will really make you stress. And some certain level of stress, it's actually good for your learning. If you never under stress when practice, when practicing, you will never progress. So when every time when you you should make a video, recall you talking certain topics, and upload to YouTube. Because by doing this, you have pressure when speaking, and this pressure is not as strong as you talking to a real person, but it's like closest as you can get by doing things yourself. So how do you do that? You find a topic you want to talk about that you are interested.、Uh, for example, if you are interested in、um, baseball, then you should just find a topic that you want to talk about baseball. What about、uh, Shohei Otani? Uh, kind of a two-way player, and you talk about introduce the Shohei Otani, and during the the time of ma- making this making your video, you will find you, you maybe lack of、uh, certain vocabulary. Then you find out you you just look up on the internet, then you know how to say that. So next time when you talk to the someone about same topic, you will be able to know you'll be able to really speak e- effectively. Because one of the problem that You couldn't speak that well. It's because of you don't know the vocabulary. By doing that, you will have one. You have vocabulary. If you have any, and you also need to 
after you upload the video, you need to uh, kind of uh, watch your own video to find out mistakes because there are three types of three types of mistakes. One is the one that you can you know right away when you uh, when you're speaking. So maybe it's like a mistake like uh, not knowing certain vocabularies. So that you just look up on the internet and come back to make a another videos, right? Second is the one you can spot after you watch your video. So that's why you should definitely watch your own videos to correct your mistakes. Maybe your pronunciation to certain things is not correct. And how to know that is you open the CC subtitle on the YouTube. The speech recognition system will recognize your uh, English speaking subtitles and you, you kind of know what you just say, right? So you kind of you can compare these two if YouTube subtitles is different from what you say. That means your pronunciation may be a, a little bit off because YouTube's uh, speech recognition is very accurate for native speakers. So that's actually a good way to find out your mistakes, pronunciation mistakes especially. Okay, so third mistake is the one you don't even know after you watch your video. So this is kind of higher level. Uh, you don't need to find out that now. And you probably need some coaches to find out. Uh, that's not in the scope of our discussion today. So by doing that, you're uploading your, your, your YouTube video and definitely make it public. You will feel pressure. You will feel uh, probably you probably you will be judged. But that's the like judged by other people, right? But that's the pressure you need to get. You want to have so that you can practice English far more effectively. Just imagine if you play a baseball game. If you practice your base baseball, you practice you, you kind of throw a ball, throw one hundred balls every day, but you never face a real batter. So how can you really throw the baseball well when you really start uh, pitching in the game? How you can overcome is to really just play the game with some other people, because when you play the game, you have a tremendous pressure. You need to practice the pressure under, and like pitching under pressure. The same goes for English speaking. You need to practice speaking. You need to practice speaking English under pressure. And how you can do that is to make a video, upload video to YouTube, make it public. And not to mention what rewatching your videos can give you a lot of uh, like feedback. You can correct your mistakes the so next time you won't make it. So that's the tips. That's the tip. I want to share today and if you find it helpful find it useful don't forget to subscribe to this channel i will continue making more english learning tips videos like this your subscription really means a lot to me other than that take care i will see you next time